Olivier Branchard is the IMF's chief economist, and he joins us now this morning from Washington on the heels of that okay, report good. just released. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning, sir, uh, right here on In Business. I want to ask you so much concern about Greece swirling once again this morning. Is $60 billion in aid potentially enough uh, to stop that domino effect that you are concerned about? Well, you will understand that I cannot talk about Greece at this point. Uh, we have a mission on the ground uh, which is collecting numbers and will put in place a program over the coming days, the coming weeks. Uh, it's clear that the situation in Greece is a serious one. Uh, now the question is what is the best adjustment path for them to, uh, to follow. Uh, but I'm not in a position to discuss Greece at this point. But you are uh, in raising your global f growth forecast around the world, still highlighting sovereign debt as potentially a risk that could uh, outweigh some of that uh, positive growth that you see. Uh, what particularly worries you at the moment? Well, I think most countries, I mean, one of the results of a crisis is that output is lower than it would have been, and uh, there's a fairly large loss of revenues. Uh, from the crisis. So most governments in, 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 in advanced countries are faced with a, a much tougher uh, fiscal situation than they were, uh, say, two years ago. And in many cases, uh, they actually have to uh, start consolidating. So most governments are facing a major fiscal consolidation problem. Uh, the intensity of it varies. Obviously, Greece has at one end. Uh, other countries are not uh, that uh, are not in that, that much trouble, uh, but in general all countries have to start uh, fiscal consolidation. Uh, you also in this report today, sir, uh, highlight uh, some uh, of the Asian growth prospects there and concerns about exposure uh, of banks there, particularly to real estate. In your estimation, is there an asset bubble uh, about to burst in China? Uh, we do not think so. We think that for the most part, uh, the growth in China, which has been very high and we expect to continue to be very high, has been a very healthy one. Uh, at the same time, uh, there are pockets that one has to watch. Uh, the Chinese government is watching those pockets and ready to intervene if needed. So we are not terribly worried about uh, a major asset bubble in China, no. When will they revalue their currency? Well, you have to understand what their strategy is. Uh, their strategy is to uh, decrease their saving rate, which they uh, think is too high and is indeed probably too high. This leads to an increase in internal demand, and so they have to make room, basically, for domestic production. Uh, as they do this, uh, it will be in their interest to actually allow for an appreciation of their currency in order to reallocate resources towards the domestic sector. And so I think that's what we're going to see over the next few years. Let me ask you, sir, when you talk about uh, raising the global growth rates and here, the, the growth you're seeing in the United States, you say that a lot of this growth is uh, dependent on highly accommodative macroeconomic policies. That's how the IMF phrases it. Aren't you having right. it both ways there, saying that there is real global growth, but a lot of that is sort of jumped up on steroids? No, I think there's nothing, uh, there's nothing st uh, steroids about monetary policy. Uh, monetary policy can uh, keep interest rates low as long as needed. Uh, that's perfectly healthy uh, to the extent that it leads here and there to potential bubbles. Again, we have to use the tools to control those. But in general, I think it's perfectly fine to have low interest rates for as long as needed. You're still forecasting, while you know, a healthier financial sector for credit to still remain tight. With this right. uh, recommendation of, uh, of a fat tax or a tax on profits at financial firms, how would that not put some constraint on the financial sector? Well, again, I, I cannot discuss uh, what is at this stage still a confidential report, even if it has been uh, published in the press. Uh, but the general point is uh, that regulation is needed. Uh, regulation may slow down a bit uh, the growth of the financial sector, but we think it, it is for the better, and we think that it should not stand in the way of healthy growth. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much for making time for us this morning. Good. Uh, this is the chief economist at the IMF, Olivier Blanchard.